Hi guys, and my name is Luke, and in today's video, we're going to be doing lots of work. So as you guys can see, um, our garage is filled with lots of stuff. Fertilizer spreader, mowers, um, more things for Cole's project, a miter saw, 2x4 screws, levels, um, saw horses, bikes. And the reason for that is my dad took Thursday and Friday off this week, and he got a lot of stuff done. Um, a lot of the 2x4s are for my, um, my mom wants my dad to build a new kitchen table and it's going to be a really cool design. I'll have to show you when it's done. Um, but over here, um, we had a really bad fence and so my dad, um, built a new one and it looks really good and it works a lot better. The other one was just like a prefab fence that, uh, came with our home when we bought it. We're laying lots of mulch, uh, wood chips down, and the doors work and stuff. Oh, there's a noisy spring. Uh, we didn't continue it over there. We just put the fence here, so as, when you're coming from the road, you can't like really, really see up in to the uh, woods and stuff like that. Um, the only people that will see it from this direction is our neighbors, and we don't really care about that. So I mowed the lawn here, and. Uh, I put some, we, my dad bought some stuff uh, for in our woods by our fireplace that kills like uh, like um, the bugs in the soil and stuff, like uh, jiggers and stuff like that. So we had some extra, so I put it in here, I cut it and everything. We've been doing lots of yard work today, so we, uh, we cut most of all the lawns. Still need to cut my lawn. We had a very, very big job today, which took most of the day. Um, this is my neighbor's, that's my neighbor's driveway. It goes all the way down there. And right along here is uh, like lots of bush and stuff like that. So we spent four hours, around four hours, cutting all of it back from the road. Here's like some trees and stuff like that. But a lot of it was just like thorny bushes. And so we made around six trips with the tractor, um, trailer full, and we uh, got everything cut, and we'll get paid a pretty good amount for that. So we got, I was making some money so I can keep working on the house, and my brother can keep working on his project. Um, so even though it seems like a cut into my tiny house time to work, it actually isn't because of allowing me to work more because I have more money now. Um, he's one of our customers and we have a lot more customers. During the week we uh, cut um, lawns during the school week so we have school then track then mowing so it's very tiring during the week but we need to make money and I kind of like making money as any teenager would. Up um, underneath my kind of canopy area all the way up there is where my outside light is. Now on top of my outside light, a bird is trying to make a nest. Now as I told you that wire right there, a bird is nesting on that wire and all the poop is landing right there on my step. So I'll have to fix that problem soon. Sorry for this horrible lighting. It's like shady and sunny at the same time um, with this uh, lavender bush above me. So I'll do my best to uh, get the best shot. Um, but I'm going to start now by cutting the vinyl to fit. So I'm right here um, getting my music ready and I just got a notification on my phone. We just hit 300 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. This means a ton to me and I can't wait to see how far we'll get during this summer. Um, I know a lot of you guys are new to the channel so welcome to the channel. On this channel we go over tiny house stuff, teardrop stuff and um, it's I'm 13 years old. My name is Luke Phil. Um, I go to school. Um, I cut lawns, I have a lawn care business, and that's how I make my money to afford these kind of projects. Um, a lot of you guys are from School Easy, and in my last video, I accidentally called her a he. I'm so sorry. I know uh, she is a female. I just had a major brain fart during that video, and I also forgot to fix it during editing. So, thank you guys so much for hitting, um, making me hit 300 subscribers, and I'm so excited to see what comes. Now, let's get back and um, work on this.
so this is my brother's trailer for his teardrop. Uh, they got done welding it last time. They started to grind it, but now he's going to start prepping it for paint. So what are you guys doing now? We're going to grind it into, and then climb it and then paint. So they're going to grind it, um, prime it, and then paint it. So I'll be recording that as well as what I'm doing over here. My grandma stopped over and uh, was checking out what we were doing. Um, she works at the River Museum here in Dubuque, Iowa. And um, I'm pretty sure this is where she got it, but it is a spruce tree. And it came with directions and everything. So it came with directions um, that you can read. And this is the tree that I'm going to be planting. It's a little spruce tree. And yeah. So... Here is the vinyl right down here. I'm just gonna cut uh, a plus sign right into it. I put the uh, razor blade away already, so I'm using my dad's multi-tool. Kinda sucks my brother's working on his uh, trailer right in front of my house, so you're gonna be hearing that. Hopefully for not the rest of the video, but we'll get done with the stuff outside, and we can move on inside, and that will muffle the noise. Um, I cannot find my uh, shovel, my hand shovel. So I'm going to use a crowbar and see if that works. quickly um and that means that um i need to go charge it i don't have a second battery for it so i'm gonna mow the grass and um while it's on the charger and hopefully it'll be charged by then and i can um start on the tiling so like i told you before that bird is making a nest up there so i'm gonna take the ladder um measure it out and cut a piece of plywood to cover it up There's an old saying called measure twice, cut once. That's a good saying. I measured it wrong, um, and I knew like I knew something was wrong because I looked at what I measured, and I looked up there, and I'm like, that's not going to fit. So I measured it again, then got the right uh, measurements. It's going to be 21 by 20. So I'm going to cut the square out first, and then I'm going to have to cut around that electrical box. I'm getting ready for tomorrow when um, we start doing the tile. Um, I have the piece of trim on the floor that we're going to trim right here so these can be lifted up. Also, to trim around the whole thing. Probably not tomorrow, but we'll get this piece in because we have to in order to start on the tiling. We have all the tiles ready, and I took things like the electrical box uh, covers off and things like that so we can be ready for tomorrow when we start tiling. I was going to um, start, but in a couple minutes we're going to have a family friend over for dinner. And I think I've been working since all day, and I think uh, it's time to take a break from work. But we got a lot of stuff done. Um, not so much on the tiny house. We got a lot of stuff planted over there. We have a cover from uh, the for the outside light, and we um, prepared everything for tomorrow. But we got a lot of uh, work done over um, on our customer's property and so we can make some money um, to continue these projects so I'll see you guys tomorrow. 
I just woke up. My brother and my dad are getting ready to paint the uh, teardrop trailer. And I'm getting ready inside the tiny house to start doing some tile work. So I'm getting um, this medicine cabinet off the wall. And what I did is I put a pencil line so I know where I had to tile up to. We're going to tile behind it just a little bit. And then I also have to cut this to length and put it back here alongside the wall. So we moved it the other direction so it wouldn't be facing downhill and we could possibly lose it. So we just turned it so it wouldn't be facing uh, down there, which would be a bad thing. So now he's going to get um, the primer and start primering it. What he did yesterday was take simple green in a t-shirt, old t-shirt, and wipe down all the metal to clean it. So the first thing I need to do is remove this medicine cabinet. And in order to do that, I gotta remove everything that was in it. So, do that first. First thing I have to do is measure the width of this back here, which is around let's do that's four feet three quarter oh my god that's a lot so that's four feet three quarter i'm going to cut that piece of trim to that length and then i'll install it Now, let's see if I did everything correctly. Hopefully, I did. Should fit, right? I'm going to put it in this way like that. Got to get it the right way so it looks good. There we go. At least building the house taught me something on how to measure, right? Now, one thing you want to do, especially with this, like, smaller trim board is whenever you're putting a screw in i'm putting these small screws in that's all you need for this you always want to pre-drill it out or you'll split the wood and it won't look very good so i can tell where my studs are and just pre-drill it It's actually a really sunny day out, it's really warm out, but I have this light off, the kitchen light, and that curtain closed just for lighting. If I had that light on, it would be too much for the camera. Also, having um, lighting towards your camera is not very good. So, I actually want you guys to see what I'm doing, so I have uh, that light off and that curtain closed. I'm going to have my dad come over and help me um, start the tiling because I really don't know what I'm doing. Um, I got everything ready for the tiling, and now I'm just going to come over and help. Now what we're actually using for our tile is um, like square sticky tile. Um, I'm pretty sure it's like flooring, right? Mm -hmm. And we're going to use that for the like backsplash. We also have um, 3M Super 77 Multi-Purpose Adhesive Spray. That should also help it stick to the wood. So I cut around this. So we have our first one up. We had to cut a little notch out of it. But over here, what you do is you just line it up right here to your two marks. Line it up from the side to your two marks. And then, here, I'm going to set this down so it keeps falling. And then you just make your little square. You probably won't be able to see it. 
but you just make a square with your pencil, drill four holes in each corner, then take your jigsaw and cut it out. You can use a razor blade, but it took, I already did five, uh, five uh, slices and it's not through yet. So I'm going to use my jigsaw because that will be easier. So we got the lower section done. Well, not done. We got them all cut out for the outlets. And now we're going to attach them to the wall. So we're spraying that adhesive on the area we're going to attach it. And we need like a test a little bit of the cutoff of the outlet. And it's super sticky. So there's no way that this is going to fall off. two options one option was to stagger the seams which looks pretty cool but then my other option was just to put them on top of each other I think I'm going to do that because here is my pencil mark that you can't see on camera but it lines up exactly perfectly and it will um, it will save me money and time because I won't have to use as many tiles So what I did is I measured that space up there and then I, that was 7 inches, so I measured 7 inches from the bottom and we're just taking the razor blade and cutting it and then bending it and that cuts it. And the excess from that we're putting, I'll show you where we're putting it, putting it right over there where this one right there is. They just got done um, painting their two coats of primer. They let us sit. We've been flipping the trailer um, from the front side and to the back so you can ba paint both sides. Now they're doing their first coat of black paint. They're going to let that sit. Then we're going to probably flip the trailer over and do it on the back side again. So today is kind of like a painting trailer for the teardrop day. So I'm trimming around the whole countertop for when um, I do my actual kitchen countertop. And so, you see that wire? This is the wire to the backlighting of the glass piece. Well, I gotta make a hole in this part right here in order to uh, get the wire through without interfering with my uh, whole trim. So I've been cutting the trim pieces for um, the kitchen countertop now. I'm gonna wait till my dad um, gets home. He's grabbing some more paint for my brother's um, teardrop trailer. But I'm gonna wait for him to help me drill this hole. And then I don't have a uh, long enough piece to cover the front. But I'll just have to wait. What I'm going to do next is out here I have my 2x6 um, my right here. And I'm gonna measure inside up there where it needs to go. So I think I want to save this board for next video. I'll put that up because I have to cut it around the box and I don't really want to do that right now. Also, I don't know if I have to cut it around the box, um, but I'll talk to my dad and I'll see what he thinks. Um, this monitor is actually a TV monitor with Chromecast um, Ultra hooked up to it. So I'm able to stream everything. Now my plan is, is to um, on Amazon, I bought a monitor mount, so on the back here, there's like screws that you can mount it to, and that's going to mount on this stud right here, and it's going to sit right here, and you can pull it out, and you just can turn it up and down all directions, 
So that will keep uh, this off this table, and you can put like your drinks and stuff on this table. Um, other than that, I think that's mostly all for this video. When I uh, put that board above the um, kind of like the overhang deck area, um, I'm gonna put some steel wool between that light and that plywood, so no bugs uh, get back there or bees and stuff. Cause right now is the season where bees are trying to find nests and make nests. So I'm gonna put steel wool back there so they don't start or any bug doesn't get in there and try starting a nest. Um, I think the tile looks really cool and, cool, and I'll do some cool shots of that. So.